I made it to class finally. Hey, what up, Spruve? What I do, bro? We got M attack, or is that Mad attack? Uh, you're talking about mining Zen all the time, or mining it. How do you do that? I'm confused. Um, sure. Let's do it real quick. Let's do it real quick, man. So when I say mining Zen, I'm talking about going to Zen.network and going to Zen FTs. So what I'm doing is now we're on Avalanche. So this is perfect. I'm, I'm willing to do it here on Avalanche. I have my Zen FTs. They're really ugly right now because we're not, <laughs> we, we can't do a lot of VMUs. So we got the ugly bucket of, of Zen FTs. We don't got no pretty pink and blue ones and stuff like that. But um, what you do is you can create uh, these batches. These batches are inside of the Zen FT. So regularly we call them vanilla mints up here on the navigation bar what you'll see is minting and staking minting is a vanilla version of of doing this this world where basically you put one uh claim or you put burn your eth or your avax one time and you get one wallet um it's really cool educational tool to teach somebody just like how to get into zen after you do your claim and you get your Zen out, we then have the vanilla minter or the vanilla staker, excuse me. The vanilla staker only allows one wallet at a time to stake a certain amount of Zen for a certain amount of terms. Again, going back to the Phoenix conversation over here, I can only do a thousand, can't do any more than a thousand days. Um, and it's well, you know, eventually the APY here is at 18%, um, but in about a thousand days, it'll be around 2%. So. Um, you have the vanilla staker, but again, one, so solo one, then we've got the NFT as uh, NFTs. This came out in December and this enabled the ability to do this thing called VMUs, um, inside of the NFT. So it's a dynamic NFT. What it does is it provides the user with the ability of putting, can I see these any bigger? No, I could put more than one wallet inside of the VM inside of this NFT. And now what that does is that intensifies my mint, right? My vanilla mint right here, I'm only getting 26 million Zen, right? Only one time. Like what if I could do that 38 times? <laughs> and that's what, what I'm saying when I'm, when I'm talking about I'm minting Zen. I'm going over here, I'm changing my category because they have Apexes and they have limiteds. These are the um, collectible um, Zen FTs. Uh, so if you want to collect some Zen NFTs, there's still Zunicorns over here because ain't nobody got no Zen on AVAX. So there's only been three that have been minted. Whoever they are, they're the GOAT. But you want to go here and hit Collector. Collector is how you set up your batch minter, right? So in the Collector area, I can make sure I got my max VMU, so 38. I'm going to do it max days, 426 days, and I'm going to hit Mint Zen NFT. It's literally this easy. Um, when I get my MetaMask to pop up. It's going to tell me how much it costs. And this is why we like AVAX, y'all, because AVAX is $4. Um, it's going up, though. It used to be uh, around $250 um, for 38 wallets. But now, because of gas and because AVAX has gone up in price, it's at 4 bucks. But I'm not tripping. So go ahead and hit Continue. And once you do that, it's going to do its thing on the blockchain. la dee do, la dee dee. See, Zen NFT successfully created and this is why i like avax it's so quick it's so fast so buttery um and then usually what i do from there is i'll do another one and i'm going to lessen it down by two so we have 426 so i'm just going to do 213 and we're going to do another one and then we just keep going <laughs> over and over and over and over again that's what um that's what we're talking about when we say we're minting zen we're setting up ladders so that um as we you know, go through this reality, we're always going to have some Zen popping out, um, you know, popping out the ether. And then I usually do three at a time. Um, if I'm like sitting down for like an hour in front of my computer, maybe I'll just do three real quick just because, um, yeah, just to get it going. Uh, this one's taking a little longer. So gas must have spiked because everybody's trying to front run me right now. They're like, hey, bro, you can't get none. <laughs> Nah, dude, what the heck? Yeah, let's see what's going on here. Sorry, trash hash is not available. Still going through, huh? Oh, there he goes. 
had to wake it up. I go over there and slap it up. We have four dollars and eleven cents to make a Zen FT. And um we got one more to make. So I lessen it one more time. So we'll do seven or one oh seven. I don't feel like it's really worth it anymore to do thirty days. Yeah, that's cool. But you make so much more if you just wait another uh seventy days, dude. <laughs> what is thirty days to seventy days? So I'm 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 my threshold is a hundred day uh mints because I want the most. I don't wanna shortcut myself. And, you know, and I said this yesterday in the spaces, it feels like every 200 days, something new is happening. So as long as you've got mints coming out every 200 days on all chains, you'll be able to participate um, again, because everything in Zen is going to be released on everything in Zen. So by minting on Avalanche, I'm literally setting myself up to have the most Zen for Phoenix. Or in my case, I set myself to have the most Zen to burn for DB Zen so that I could try to get to a goal. And um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to unstake this. I'm just going to keep those cooking in there. It's really cool to watch and to get the divs, get the divs. Or as they say in this new world, reflections. Everybody's correcting me like, bro, those are called reflections. <laughs> but yeah, looking at Azen right now, just in general, just to bl blow this up. Um, it's trying to figure out what it's doing next. This is... Yeah, Azen. But there's not much in the pool, so we're still waiting to build, but uh, Avalanche just partnered with U Uniswap. So Avalanche is building all the right pieces. They're on OpenSea. They're moving to Uniswap. Um, they're becoming more of a household name within the corporate space of crypto. They're doing all the right things. So I do think it, it's smart to maybe get yourself in before it gets to Uniswap. Right, because once it's on Uniswap, it's just a switch of a button, similar to Binance. It's just a switch of a button, and people will be able to jump over there. And maybe you're like, "Fuck, I had it first. Damn, Zen is mooning. Hold on, hold the phone.